Deutschland! Música, Bruno, 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 música para a entrada das atletas. E é agora, é agora que vai começar. Atenção! Apresentação das equipas. Vamos começar com a equipa da Alemanha. It is Germany, in fact, the first team to come by and uh, with the uh, number one, give it up for uh, uh, Carolina uh, Sinsel. Number two, uh, Katarina Cruz. Five, Svenja Schaper. With the number six, uh, Tony Lenz. Seven, Leonie Wagner. Number eight, Pia Schwarz. Number nine, Natalie Hermann. And with the number ten, Elena Gil. This is Germany, and now playing for GB Team Great Britain. Number one, Nicole Hudson. Number two, Prudence Blight. Number three, Louis Saxon. Number four, Alison Brown. Number five, Peter Littlewood. And number six, Daniel Brain. Number seven, Georgina Langbottom. And number nine, Virginia Coyles. It's in Great Britain. Vosso aplauso para as estrelas deste campeonato da Europa Coimbra 2019. Please applause, a round round of applause for the stars of the competition. These, is, these are indeed the stars of the competition. It is Germany against Great Britain, a team GB against.
Então vamos ter agora um pequeno aquecimento na área de jogo, na área de competição e a seguir o início da final feminina Campeonato da Europa de Caiaque Polo Coimbra 2019. The teams are going for a quick warm-up. And then it is going to start this women's final of this uh, European Canoe Polo Championship right here in uh, Coimbra, the city of students, 2019. E na semifinal, a equipa da Alemanha, que é a atual campeã da Europa e campeã do mundo, a equipa da Alemanha, bateu a Itália por três bolas a duas. E a equipa da Grã-Bretanha, atual vice-campeã mundial, no último europeu, terminou na quinta posição, bateu a equipa de França por duas bolas a uma. Isso foram jogos desta manhã, agora estão na final... A final do Campeonato da Europa de Kayak Polo. Welcome back to the European Canoe Polo Championships 2019 Women's Final. Lining up for this final, this we have Great we have Britain on the left of your screen. Their players are Let's number one, Nicole Hudson, two, Prudence Bly, three, Lou Saxon, four, Ali medal. Brown, five, Beth Littlewood. Six, Danny Brain. Seven, Georgie Four Longbottom. And nine, Ginny Cook. And we've come to and this. And on the right hand Germany side, all covered in black, Britain. yellow, head and to head red. For the gold the medal German team in this with the number one, Caroline Zinsel. With the number two, Katharina Kruse. With the number five, Finja Schäper. With the number six, Tony Lenz. Yes, with number seven, Leonie Wagner. E game on! Nine, e final, já Nathalie começou. Hermann. And Primeira with passe the number de bola, ten, Elena Gillis. Não há falta. Great Britain with the first Prudence possession. Plata, they took the, the ball, ball on the sprint start. Early, early pick up there by Prue Bly. Down to Ginny Coles, but they've taken that ball back. They're going to use this, this time just to build and get to relax and into this game, I think. So let's Virginia see what the, the Britons Louis, can do with Louis the first possession of this direita, senior women's final. What a hard job. Deflected and good yeah. recovered. So now Germany with in possession. Yeah. Let's see what they can do on their first offensive attempt. I think once both teams have had their hands on the ball, it just calms the nerves and gets them into the game. So, a possession for each team now. And Ref has uh, broken up the advantage there. Powerful has been made. Katarina Kruse working inside the Britain's defense. They're working hard though to keep them out. They, they know how strong the German team are. Lens is there trying to get in through the German defence. Very good at that job. I've seen her over many years doing that work. Britons are playing with a 2-2 defensive strategy. It's a kind of an offensive one. Yeah. It gives them a bit more freedom. So two, two defenders in front of the goalkeeper. Two chasing just slightly further off the front. Yeah, I think they really try to keep the Germans uh, as far from the goal as possible. That's it. And it is... Oh, the shot, though. That was Schaefer with that shot from Germany. First shot. But now Germany dropping back into defence. Coils with the long ball. What can she do? No. Oh, that shot was so close to the goal, but it just went out of bounds. It's a long way, isn't it, as well? Yes, definitely. And now Germany with the second possession of this first half. Yeah. Let's see what they can do. They have 50 seconds on the shot clock. There's a lot of experience in the women's game on this pitch now. We have veterans who have been playing for many years. Just a few that I can name. That's Ginny Coyles, Prue Blythe, Tony Lenz and Eleanor Gillis have been around an awful long time in this sport. 
Yeah, most of those players have been in the finals before. Yeah, they have. Now, uh, good deflected pass there by the British goalkeeper, and now England on the uh, Brit Britain on the counter attack. Number three on the left hand side brings it up the pitch. Coils with that ball again, but the Tony Lenz back for Germany under the goal. Now switching with uh, Katarina Kruse. Yeah, Katarina's their real goalkeeper. Lenz just taking the goal while yes, all the defence get back. And he, he just she just went for goalie for this year. Last year she wasn't even in goal. It was uh, Natalie Hermann mainly keeping the goal. And she's played really well, actually. She's played this tournament I immensely well in goal. So. Yeah, she has long arms, a uh, long upper body. So she is. Uh, everything that Le is needed for a goalkeeper. Yeah, you need to be able to cover that top of that goal. Stop the shots. Great shot there from Blythe, but that's bounced down. Out for a goal throw. So German attack again. So let's see what they can do with this new possession they have gained. What a strong shot it was, but now they really German need to just get them on target now though don't they yeah they really have to germany still looking for a good shot opportunity yep they have not taken anything countable gillis with the ball though she's a strong shooter there oh that wow. wasn't a very good shot this time i don't think dropped down too easily and now maybe another chance for a counter attack yeah a uh, bit a bit sloppy there with the passes. Was. All that advantage is, is gone once the German defence are back in place. They need to work now to build a goal. Let's see what they can do with their possession. Two players working very hardly inside this German defence. Yeah, defense. that's Prue Blythe and Nicole Hudson inside that German defence. Elena Gillis up on top. The Germans are defending with a 3-1 defensive strategy, a yep. very well-known and common defensive strategy, I think. It is. We've seen a lot through the teams with that this year. That ball deflected out of play there. Oh, referee number two, green card. Uh, for a boat foul, I think I it was. Yeah. Okay, now everything's clear. So... Foul to be taken. Let's see can uh, see what they can do with this corner. On the right hand side, number nine. She's ver very well known for her good shot, isn't she? Uh, Ginny Coyles, yeah, she's been around. She, Ginny played in the first European Championships in 1993 in Sheffield in the UK. So she's definitely a very experienced player. Very experienced player. Long ball. Uh but not on target this time. Try, try to chip there, but yeah. just went over the top of the bar. Yeah. So, so now a substitution has been made. Svenja Schäper now on the pitch and Natalie Hermann with number nine. Six minutes played in this first half of the women's final. Still no goals on the scoreboard few shots but no goals yeah maybe that will change within the next few moments let's see if germany can find the gap in the britain's defense yeah they've got one player in there Svenja sitting in the middle of the british defense there yeah she she, she worked good and uh, so she made sure they stayed in possession there yeah Schäper puts up a shot. Stopped by Brown there. Very good save there. Yeah. She went for the short post. Gillis now on top. German captain. Second possession time. So. I think the, the Britons are very well aware of the... Uh, goal scoring ability of number seven and number ten, Elena Gillis and uh, Leonie Wagner. Yeah, they've been 
earmarked for many years by the British teams as, as classy shooters there. They're always there. Yeah, but I think uh, both oh. teams are very, very aware of each other and uh, yeah. know what the other... They've played so many finals against each other over the time. Gillis there just lost her paddles blocking that shot, but uh, at least it was put out. Coyle's taking the corner. Two and a half minutes left in this first half of game time. Still no goal scored yet. Let's see what the Britons can build up. Number five on top of the key takes yeah. a shot, but a good deflection. Great deflection there. German defence, like you say, that three and one defence is very strong for Germany. Just the one player on the front. And Elena Gillis always is looking to get on the counter attack. Yeah. Number five on the right hand side. Tries to put it inside. Good shot, but even a better better save there by the German defense. Yeah. Wagner. Looking for Kruse. Schäpa. Now it's a two on two. British players have come out to meet the Germans this time on this attack. Yeah, they are playing very offensively, don't yeah, they? Yeah, very much so. Drop back now slightly. I'm quite surprised to see that in a final. It, uh, normally you depend on your strong defense, stay back on the line, try to keep it as yeah. tight and close as possible. It's very early in the game for us to see that. We don't normally see it there, but they have dropped back slightly now. I think putting pressure on just to try and intimidate the players with the ball. Long shot up. Ooh. Oh, and it just fell down on the net. Good attempt there by Shepa. But it can be quite exhausting, I guess, Ooh. if you go for an offensive strategy on defensive end. Yeah, it can be quite tiring as well. Yeah. So w you always have to charge another time and go for another sprint to reach the other, the yeah. other player. You're chasing from one player to the other and uh, trying to track the ball and, and get it back in your possession. So now game clock and shot clock are synchronized. 20 seconds left to play in this half. Let's see if one of those teams can go up in front and take that advantage into the halftime break. German advantage here with the shot clock, but have they got the what it takes to get? No, that's bounced down, back into play, and we're out of time. I think that shot wouldn't have counted. It was out of game time. Yeah, I think it was, but great first half no goals but plenty of action from the from the ladies we have some we have seen some very decent defensive work on both ends we have i think the different strategies as well we've got gb with their two and two and the german defense with a three and one strategy and they're working well for both those teams it's what is what works for your team that you put in place in a final like this yeah, so now the coaches are making their last adjustments, telling the players one or two short sentences, ten se sentences to remind them of the aim of the, of the game. That's it, but at the moment, nil-nil, still all to play for. Ten minutes more, who knows what might happen in the second half. Everything is still possible. Yes, everything. So I'm very excited to see the second half of game time. Very much so. Both of these teams been in so many finals. Um, Great Britain in the European Championships have won five golds, four silvers and two bronze medals. And that's just European Championships. And on the German side, uh, they won the gold medal eight times. Yeah and have been to almost every final since uh, 2009. That's right. And then two amazing teams here with a lot of great results over years. And, and, and they have really proven and shown us why they are the both teams playing the final match yeah, of this tournament. Absolutely. I mean, we have the gold and silver medalists from last year's World Championships here. And the halftime break gives us a chance to 
to thank our sponsors, the Coimbra City Council, uh, University of Coimbra, Club Flavial de Coimbra, UPIN Sports, the supplier of the goals, and uh, Hugo Santa Casa, as well as the Portuguese Institute for Sports and Youth. Thank you all for making this happen and supporting us on this European Championship of 2019. Teams back, lined up, Waiting ready. Waiting for the game to start. Referees just giving them that full three minutes there. And it really shows how much they want to play again and phase up against each other. Yep. Teams ready 30 seconds before the, the full three minutes is up there. But the referee will let the time just run down until the shot clock resets. And the game, shot, game clock resets too. So let's see who will have the first possession in the in the second half. It's sprinters will be ready. So who have we got going? We have Prue Blythe, and is it Leonie Leon Wagner? Yeah. So now Two. the refs blown the whistle. Game has just started again. Oh! Oh, and a boat foul has been called there. Illegal boat tackle by Leonie Wagner on that sprint start. So now it's the second first possession for Great Britain. Oh, taking the boat right over the top of Prue Blythe and hitting the body there. So Great Britain with the first attack. But I think she's just fine. She has not shown any sign that she's no. injured or something like that. It's part of the sport, isn't it? Oh! And what a great shot it was! Now Great, Brit great Britain is in the league. Number one puts Z's number nine in Nicole, the middle of the goal. Number nine, Ginny Coyles, the experience showing there. And that just within the first 30 seconds of the second half. Yeah, those teams were ready to go then, weren't they? Yeah, they were really, and uh, I think that's the best start, and uh, that's all that the Britain team could have asked for. Yeah, great start. Germany won't be impressed with that, though. They'll be looking to come back at them straight away. I expect them to stay focused. They have been in that position quite a few times. Yep. Advantage has been given right underneath the goal. Resets the shot clock, so Germany have another 60 seconds here. They will look for any small chances to force a gap into the Britain's defense. It's like we were saying that the defense before sitting two and two, we now have three in there, but the third person just chasing out to the ball carrier. Now Gillis on top of the key. Goes into the middle, pass to the right hand side, Zinze. Oh, Lenz with the Lenz ball! With the shot. Timeout has been given. Okay, and the refs making his, <laughs> his point very clear there. Paddle foul to. Uh, and I a green card, Littlewood from Great Britain. Was it given to number five? Number five, yeah. So, green card on the board. Okay, I've been told it has been number one, Nicole. Oh, right. Never mind, Germany on their next attempt. Gilles. Lenz. And oh. Lenz puts it in. What a beautiful shot. And a boat foul has been called. Goal is denied. Lenz is so dangerous from that position. Oh, and now the refs are discussing whether this goal counts or if it does not. It is on the scoreboard. It is on the scoreboard, but it's the ref's decision that will be final. Yeah. But Lenz is such a, a powerhouse, especially from that close into the goal. Yeah, she almost catches everything she gets and yep. puts it into the back of the net. So let's and see the what the decision will be. Oh, and the goal. The goal Goal's will count. awarded. Yeah. So now Tony Lenz has tied up the score for Germany. <laughs> 
So, back all square again. Let's see if the Britons can uh, answer to that and yep. uh, get back into the lead. They have 40 seconds on the shot clock to do that. So, two goals in two minutes of the second half. Yeah, the both teams maybe a bit uh, like uh, uh, not that offensive style played and that has changed in the second half. Yeah, yeah. They're just Germany Now 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Let's see what the Britons can do. Here comes the shot. shot put up. Oh, blocked oh. down. That was Lenz who blocked that shot down for Germany. Schwarz to Kruse. Let's see if Germany can build up a counter-attack. But the Great Britain team is back underneath their goal. Yeah. Very we quick reaction on that one. Yeah. Great reaction. Alison Brown, the goalkeeper, tends to play just as a goalkeeper, not as a pitch player. So she does a lot of subbing on and off when the play changes. She, she only does come on uh, the pitch when they are defending. Yeah. Okay. There are games where if the, if the situation occurs, she will stay on and take with the play. But as a goalkeeper, that is her main role. And that has been a deflected shot by Leonie Wagner. Wagner is going to take the corner. She's pressured by number two of the Britons. It is. Long Look, ball. Looking for Pia Schwarz on the line. Wide open pass to Svenja Schäper. Shot. Oh. Ah, she takes the shot. New balls. But it will be Britain's possession as, yeah. she, as she just missed. Six minutes left to play in this final game. Long, long ball though. That was nowhere near on target, that one, I don't think. No, it really wasn't. And now Germany with another chance to take the lead for the first time in this game. Well, we'll see. We're not there yet. These teams desperately wanting to score, but they have to be patient. They have to look for the right moves. They can't just throw up any old shots. Good block there from Littlewood as the pass from Gillis goes back. I really like the fact that the Britons are showing us a really fight, although the Germans might have been a bit of the final, uh, the favorite team. Yeah, yeah. That one just rebounds in off the side of the goal. But that won't matter no. if uh, the Britons so can put, an, uh, put one more goal on the goal. On Britain the attacking, yeah. yeah. So now number two, defended by Hermann, looking for her teammates. Coils in the center of the German defense there, the other four players around the outside. Just looking in, nothing there, pull back out. Germany is really giving them a hard time. Yep. Shot clock has run out of time almost twice this game. Oh, and that's a foul, a holding foul. So, real disappointment. That's it. Shouldn't be happening there. I think she kept it in her hand for quite too long. Yeah. She's only allowed to have the ball within the reach of her arms for five, five seconds. seconds. Yep. Referee making the play, be stationary before taking that throw. I totally agree on that one with the referee. Yeah. So, change again. One goal each to Germany and Great Britain. Great Wagner. game of women's polo here today. Gilles. Looking for Hermann. Oh, she had a hard time catching it there. Yeah. Oh. Ball blocked down and picked up there by the British team. 
shot. Not, not a very promising position for a shot to take. No, no. Long ball, but that doesn't put Tony Lenz in any trouble. <laughs> Girls, once again, just moving up the field now. They'll take that corner, say thank you very much, and take the next minute's possession that they can get. Both of these teams on every possession just trying to get that ball into the zone and working. Odd mistakes are giving it to the opposition. And we're back with the German attack. And in my opinion, the Britons are doing such a great job at, defen at the defensive end in this game. They struggle a bit in the, in the first half to put anything countable on the scoreboard. And that's the same situation in the second half for the last six minutes. Yep. So, we've got two minutes left to play. Are we going to finish this game in... Ordinary in time or overtime, yeah. We will see. Now every possession counts, yeah. definitely. Lens. Germany running the clock down this time. Oh, the ball goes in, but it goes straight to Coils from Great Britain. So, German back on the defence now. One minute's possession for Great Britain. I think the Britons are taking their time on that one. I think they'll want to keep the ball as long as they can. With a minute and a half left to play, you want as much of the possession as you can. If they score within this possession, the game might, might be decided. In this game, you say it's never over till the whistle blows. That was not my point. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Oh, what a great pause the shot, it was inside. But blocked. Oh. Lens. Good shot position. Bit sideways, but... But uh, number nine, by the name of uh, Longbottom, is very n well known yeah. for her shooting ability. So, we're Zinze. into the last 30 seconds of Gilles. this game. Gillis with the ball, but blocked down. Great work from Hudson there just to block that ball. Oh, Unfortunately, it goes out for a corner. So, so now 20 seconds. 20 seconds remaining on the game clock. I'm going to say, come on, GB. What are you going to say, Paul? Yeah, I'm definitely f with the heart for my German hometown country. Seven seconds. Come yeah, on. Three seconds Long left. Long shot. Sherpa. Oh, oh great save. What a great save it was. Number four, Alison Brown. Make sure that it goes into overtime. What a great save it was. Yeah. So, sudden death overtime. Yeah, we are going, we are going to see five minutes of golden goal. Yep. So, we'll take a three-minute break now. The girls will have a three-minute break, talk to their coaches. And then the periods of five minutes will start. First goal to win. So, pressure on for this next sprint. I think whoever wins the sprint gets the possession. Yeah, the next possession really, really counts because uh, every goal now, or the first goal that will be scored in within the next five minutes will decide the game for either side. Yeah. So, nervous pressure here, do you think, for the girls? I think a good amount of pressure um, that makes sure that they, they stay focused. Yeah. Interesting stats here. Both teams have had 11 shots. Germany with eight on target and Britain with seven. So, very equal stats there. I think the game's been very equal as well, though. I think uh, each time the possession changes, we go up and down the field. They've worked hard, they've tried to make gaps and get the shots away. A very exciting game, both teams are really showing us why we all love this sport so yeah. much. I can't believe 20 minutes has passed, this game's just flown by. It really is, yes. So, 
I'd like to be a fly on the wall in the coaches' talk, see what they were saying, but we can't hear from here, so... Telling them all their secrets. So now both sides are lining up again. Yeah. Clock set for the extra time. Five minutes of golden goal. The first two sprint starts in the within the regular time were both taken by the Britain side. They were. I'm hoping the third one will be too, Paul. We will see. <laughs> I think uh, Leonie Wagner will put up everything she has left in the tank. Yeah. Prue Blythe and Leonie Wagner going for that ball. Who's going to get it this time? I think that's Blythe. Blythe comes out with the ball. So now the Britons have the first possession yeah. of this overtime. I think it's very important to get the first possession, especially in overtime, because... It definitely is. The next goal will decide the game. The game and the championship. Game and the championship. So now very promising shot position. Number what nine puts oh, it inside. And what, what a great save it was. Oh, and the foul oh, has been called. No. Penalty will be given. I penalty. Think this was will it? be a defensive Eleanor penalty. Eleanor Gillis will receive a yellow card for that foul. Ah, I won't agree on that card given. It was the second shot, yes it was. Unfortunately, it's the referee's decision that's final. So now let's see if Little Katarina Wood. Kruse... Oh, to take. I don't want to watch this. Go on, Bethan. Let's see. And let's it's see. a goal! Puts it into the back of the net. Great Britain has decided the game for their side. Congratulations. Thank you, Paul. That was a fantastic game by both teams, but decided within 45 seconds of overtime. Amazing. Great Britain, European champions. Yeah, congratulations Thank also you. from the German side. Yeah. Both these teams, enemies on the water, best of friends off. They've known each other such a long time. So thank you very much, Lynn, for joining me on the sideline. Thank you, Paul. We will leave you now and we'll come back for Germany versus Great Britain, number two in the senior men's final shortly. Ho hopefully the come out of this game will be another one. <laughs> we have to wait and see if it's as exciting as this one. I hope it will be exciting. So do I. Goodbye and we'll see you all later.
close to monitor because I'm a bit blind. <laughs> Yeah, but more we have better. <laughs> oh, and I'm not agreeing yet. <laughs> What again? 